Hello, my wonderful students. Today, we're going to start with our first line of inquiry, which is related to infinite and finite, infinite and finite resources. We're going to start by learning, first of all, what is natural resources? Let's get started. What are natural resources? Natural resources are materials or substances that occur in nature. As you can see examples over here, you have trees, you have water, you have soil, anything that occurs in nature is called natural resources. What type of resources do we have? We have renewable and we have non-renewable resources. The renewable resources are the resources that can be used again and again. Examples are water, wood, wind, and energy. What are, what are other types of resources that are non-renewable? We have coal, oil, iron, and other minerals. And non-renewable can only be used one time. So again, I repeat, renewable can be used again and again, while non-renewable can only be used once. And as you can see, examples of them are water, wood, wind, and energy, which is renewable energy sources while non-renewable, which can only be used once, is oil, iron, and coal, for example. How do resources come from? Most resources, such as trees, cattle, and plants, they are produced again and again, while other animals are created from heat and pressure. Water and soil were originally on this planet to start with. They both are considered renewable because water has such a vast supply and soil is made every day by erosion. And this is the main reason why it is considered to be renewable. Extractions of natural resources. Extractions of resources happen daily on Earth. How? Whether you're getting it from mining or simply from getting a drink of water. In some cases, the extractions of these resources can hurt the earth. And as you guys all know, my learners, that we have our second line of inquiry, which talks about the human impact of the environment. So, as we said, it can hurt the environment since it's deeply dug up through, uh, for example, such as coal or iron, which can damage the earth and the environment. We have the following activity that I want you to start doing, uh, informing me what is a natural resources, what are the type of resources that we have, as we all said, renewable and non-renewable, and provide me examples for renewable and non-renewable energy resources. Once you're done, you have the following activities to answer the following questions that are in front of you. For example, A. What are natural resources? Tell or give me two examples of natural resources. Or C, what are the two types? You're going to answer all those questions in your UOI copybook. Then you have the following activity to do where you are going to tell me, you're going to match the words, and you have the second part, which is going to be unscrambling the letters that are in front of you. Okay, I hope you, uh, you had fun learning about natural resources and their types. Thank you for listening to me, and I hope you enjoyed it.